Good evening, Essary Nation. We are excited to get this season off with a bang. I think they're all taking tires. And on top of that, it's going to be saucier. It's going to be an all-out shootout to the end. Got a lot of side on these guys. I think he's got a bravery. He's getting this close to the diffuser. All you gotta do is win the race. You don't have to lead a whole bunch of laps. Oh, they're gonna be side by side coming into the next corner. Oh, that's a big contact in the back of the field. He can't stay out there like this. He stayed in it! So we are off and away for SRA. Welcome back. This is SRA, GT3 Team Series Season 10, Division 4, Round 8, our season finale. Last race of the season in Silverstone. Looks like we still have a one or two more position for grab. Um, but some of the titles are fairly solid now. So I'm fairly sure that gold and silver drivers are... Oh, actually, no. Just the silver is solid with Big Daddy. Gold, we have probably Matt. Is it correct? Yep, that's right. And then uh, team is most likely also Matt's team. Yep, Matt Orna, Martin Smith, Ian Byron, Panza, Rigatoni, um, Mac Maccas, uh, Xanthar Gang, Grid Thieves, that's your top five for the team. Um, in, your, in your points, so your goal drivers, Harold, McDonald, P1, he's only leading 26 points, over Matt Artem and 40 over Martin Smith. So there is a slim chance that if Harold has a bad enough race this evening, Artem and Smith could jump him. Looks and like then uh, cars piling in to the server. Trying to join now. Um, And we can see Big Daddy in uh, overall P8 right here with a pretty big gap to the next silver driver so fairly solid um, yeah big daddy has a very solid lead that is a 80 point gap so not quite mathematically possible but realistically daddy big daddy is definitely the silver winner of the season um and bentley is strong very it's is very it? strong here it's yeah it's it's a good car here um it the bob doesn't show it i think they're negative 40 this oh is it week. yeah it's, it's got it's got a lot of a lot of bob off the car but uh uh it is very strong without that bob so with that bob and on the team standing we have United uh america united racing with matt artem and a martin smith 1064 point leading 155 point back says uh grr lego boys so bda so technically possible but very unlikely yeah very unlikely also but actually that may not be possible because of drop race so if they both dnf they would drop less point that's and right. that was also increased again. oh they maybe that's what ian was was talking about yeah so team is most likely solid already yeah i, I think so i think that the stangs are pretty much set where they're going to be yeah. at um you know uh coaches picks this evening can anybody guess chat just 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 give me a guess guess give, the give coach guess, guess. what you think I mean, my goodness, it, it, it can't be difficult for you to figure <laughs> that out. After eight races. Point. You know, it's the same old picks. So, Harold McDonald, Big Daddy, and the Silvers. I mean, can you blame the coach, though? Those two have solid and consistent performance throughout the seasons. Yeah, they've been super consistent this season. And, uh, you know, kudos to them, you know, putting in a mega performance. So... 
I still remember a season or two ago, Harold was racing with me. Quick, but not consistent. This season though, man, that man flies and every race he flies. Yeah, he really does. Um, I, I have a good, on good authority, Big Daddy is going to be uh, D2 next season. So it is yeah, that it would is. be good. That would be good. I won't want to see him. Looks like a free practice of two minutes to go. You want to go through the track map for us, Jeremy? Yeah, let's go through the track map. All right. So the start finish here, um, right at the pit lane as you come off of club. Um, first turn is actually going to be, I believe that's Abby, isn't it? Yeah, that's Abby. Yeah. We head into Abby. Oh no, actually, it's... no, no, no. That that is the Formula One straight. Oh, Turn one, it's Cobbs. That's right, Cobbs. That's right. That's yeah. right, folks. I'm I'm getting my I'm getting my uh, bearings here. That got me tripped up a lot because we saw on a different straight than Formula One, where I'm used to seeing. It just it just drives me it just drives me absolutely insane. We go into 10, 11, 12, which is. Are you sure that's right? Yeah. No. No. Okay. Look. Can you see the the sh screen share? From yeah. Discord. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's yeah. T1's right. corpse. Corpse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Two, three, and four. That's maggots. And then turn five to Speckets. We go down the hangar straight. We're gonna have hangar right in the stow corner. And then eight and nine is valet. Vale. The club. Vale down the Hamilton straight, and then we get to Abbey. Very fast right-hander. In quality, should be no brake for some car, apparently. Yep, that's right. There's cars that are that are no brakes. Maybe a small lift. Maybe a downshift or two. We head into farm, and then uh, that would be 13, 14 yep. is village, and the loop, and on to entry down the Wellington Street. Uh, 13, 14, 15, super difficult sections of this track. You really got to have the tires up underneath you. If you spin just a little bit, it's going to hurt your run going down to the Wellington Straight. So, um, some of these cars are going to be a handful, uh, especially if, especially if they burn those tires up. It's going to be a little warm today. And then we head down into turn 16, which is Brooklyn's, which is a fast left-hander. Um, you'll downshift to about a third gear, maybe second gear in some cars, hang a left, and we'll come into left field, and that's a right-hander, heading back down into the straight start-finish line. Any questions, folks? I, I chopped it up, but it's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. I'm expecting to see some good fight in uh, uh, Brooklyn and left field. That one is always good fight because you switch left and then you switch right and they're both mm -hmm. like quite long both corners so expect some side by side um t1 hopefully no one die like max and lewis did that is a yeah, hopefully so yep let's go to race we have a uh, two seconds until the car drives out of the pit big daddy's gonna lead the pack eager for set a nice time no traffic of hoping and i'll ride on board with laws here in your picture to picture let's talk about some penalties tonight we do have one in oh, you need four, to so. click a bc or oh, click drive sorry oh i apologize well, gonna click drive. Yeah, yep 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 we got it steve foster he's our one penalty this evening for d4 he's gonna have a <laughs> he's gonna have a penalty start so he'll be in the pit lane tonight that's gonna hurt on a track like silverstone or you skip the t1 yeah yeah that is that's always this i feel like pitting star is often not as bad as it looks depends on how polite to be fair actually d4 has been really really polite to each other lately the, full, the last two races, that one was flawless, I would even say. 
So it was. It was pretty flawless. Now, I was looking at the penalties this week, and I thought it was a lot more flawless than what the penalties showed. Is there something against D4 that we need to know about, Stewards? They they just got spanked enough. Everyone shows yellow. That is true. Everyone does show yellow in race control. I'm gonna look at the leaderboard real quick. See what kind of time we're gonna expect tonight. We should see. We should see some 58s this evening. Yeah, I wonder how low a 58 we're gonna see. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, fifty-eight sixes. That's kind of where I'm. That's kind of where I'm leaning to. Oh yeah, it's about fifty-eight six. Uh, uh, Justin Mahackney uh, got a fifty-eight five nine seven. So just under fifty-eight six. So fifty-eight six is definitely all on the table for tonight. And a Harold got a fifty-eight seven. So fifty-eight for sure. See if anyone whip out any PB. And once again, now what's interesting is, is if you look up in the in the top right hand corner of your screen, we are optimum. It's twenty six thirty four, so it is a little hotter. So the silvers really shouldn't have a humongous advantage, or I'm sorry, the gold shouldn't have a humongous, humongous advantage over the silvers this evening. Oh. Allegedly. Wow. You mentioned the hot weather slash tire wear. I would like to mention that tonight's heat regulation is tire change mandatory. No refueling allowed. So. Half seas. That's right, no fuel and a tire chain. So How's the tire good. wear tonight? Do you know? Uh, the tire wear, it's not. It, you know, it just really all depends on uh, how much you're sliding the tires. Those left hand tires, uh, especially on the Aston and that them boat lease, the left hand tires are kind of screaming. I heard the Porsche boys were kind of upset uh, about the rears. You know, apparently the rears, the Porsche was eating them rears up. So, uh, but with the tire change this evening, 60 minute race, you're probably going to change tires around the. Th minute mark if I had to guess the only folks that will see any tire issues from are the folks that go for the early undercut that is that's, that's fair we'll that's who we're gonna see some issues if there's some lap one trouble we're seeing Big and Daddy's folks in his first lap 58.8 I bet that man get another tenth or two well he is up Two and a half tenths at this point. So. Oh wow! So I was just I just looked it up. His PB on the leaderboard is only ha about half a tenth better. Okay. So this he's smashing it. So he's smashing it right out the gate. While well, right behind him was six tenths up. Lost a bit of time though. Ah, that big daddy. He's just quick. He's quick this evening. He's been quick all season. Only bad drivers allowed. Putting up yes. a good show for them. I, I I fail to see how he meets criteria though for them. I, I just I fail to see it. Uh, uh, I don't think Derek, he's got any penalties this season. Derek Schwab say sending uh, Big Daddy D2 midway race. <laughs> oh, oh, we got some of the, we got some, we got some D4 gold boys in here. Gonna trying chat to with get us. some of the competition out the way.
Now, he he ain't dot for he lost a little bit, but stupid is PB. He lost a bit of time there in. Oh, that is not quite. That is 20 millisecond off his PB. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he lost quite a bit <laughs> in sector three. <laughs> Harold also need to be not in default, yeah, oh yeah, correct? Absolutely, Harold. We, we hadn't forgotten about you, bud. You're not running away from this. For you. <laughs> uh, I'm on to a Falker right now. Four tenths Harold up. Is, is eight tenths up over E2. Uh, did, did the Bob police get it wrong this week, folks? Did they get it wrong? I mean, I'm, I'm feeling like the answer is yes. They've been sandbagging the official server. That's what it is. That is quite a gap. <laughs> Intense. Like. Can you even balance that much eight tens though? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, I really don't. And no one has really picked up on a better lap time. Uh, is it Jason or Jeremy? Which which car are you talking about? Five four five. Five four five. Jason. Jason. Jason's a. Uh, he picked up quite a bit. He was about a second up, but he lost a bunch of time. Worth of eight tenths. Handsome up three tenths. But no one is closing down the eight tenths from the first roll. No, they're not. They're, they're really not. Big Daddy's lost some time again. He's really struggling wherever. I don't know where he's at that he's struggling so bad, but he's no, oh, it looks like he struggled through the S's that time. Coming time to stall. The bump entering stall is quite tricky. I tried it myself and uh, quite often didn't come out alive. Yeah, it's a little tricky. Why does everyone show yellow on race control? Who can tell me that? I know. That's not helpful. This is going to be terrible for yellow flags this evening. We're going to miss all of them. Oh, uh, we have some, we got some Bob conversation going on in the, in the chat. Uh, I mean, honestly, we could fix this by just moving Big Daddy up to D2. I mean, that's just, that's, that's his just Bob. me. That's just me. You know, maybe that's his Bob. Maybe that's maybe that's how we get the man, you know. I'm hopping onto a Jason, currently a few second up. Into Vale. I'm gonna stick with Big Daddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wheel him into a better time here. He's gonna improve on his time by about, about 100 or so, 200s maybe. Or maybe he didn't, maybe he didn't pick it up. Right on board with him. Let's take a look at some gearing. Uh, all wrong side of the car here in this Bentley. Shifting up to fifth, gonna come all the way up to sixth. He should be breaking right before the curb on the left. Get that car in there. Patience, patience, patience on the throttle. Gets on the throttle, run it out wide. Keep going the track limits. We're gonna spot that curb on the right. Get all the way down to first. Small lift, upshift to second. Grab some curb on the right hand side. Run it out wide. Let's see if he let's see if he uh 
does the little lift and downshift here. No downshift, just a small little lift. Next section, we're gonna spot the curb on the right. Shift all the way down. I shift down to first there. He likes to stay in second, it looks like. He'll shift down into first. Then come back down to Wellington straight. And he lost a lot of time right before the Wellington straight. So that's interesting. He's gonna diamond off the final corner. Grab some grass on the inside, running out wide. Really tuck the line in there, down to the... And that'll be his last lap. Our goal driver should be going out. Who's in the lead, Derek Schlepp? Schlepp. Harry McDonald's leading the pack. Surprise, surprise. Oh, well, who would have? He's the one who get the clean air. For being a sub two, barely sub two minute track, drivers in the front probably get three, maybe four representative prop, uh, opportunity to try the, the, their time. And you know, I, I, I'm thinking now, I wonder if the, I wonder if it got to the point where, you know, the freshest the tires were was their lap two, you know, the lap two, and then after that it was just diminishing returns from their own laps. Fall off a little bit. Yeah. That's why you do not need a very long quality session if you are planning on only using one set of tires. Mm -hmm. The tire is going right. to fall off after five laps. If that. So the field is a little spread out for silvers. I mean, we've got everything from a 158.8 all the way down to the 201.4. So that may make the race a little interesting. So tonight in total we have 30 drivers and uh, 16 gold and 14. Oh, 17 gold. And 13. Now generally we have a little bit more fall off than that towards the Yeah, that is true. Last Later on of the, of the race. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually... Pretty happy, pretty excited to see all the drivers come back out. Um, these are these are all the same drivers that have been running all season. I don't know that I don't see anybody not here. Harold McDonald crushes a 50, 59, 59 one. one. I think he's first him. Yeah, he's gonna. Question is how much. Harold currently is oh boy he's 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 three tenths and getting quicker into Vell another driver we'll ride on board with Blake he is looking like he was well, he was five tenths up but he looks like he might have lifted for some reason The apex. Harold, three tenths up and gaining ground. Going down the Wellington. Exit through the loop isn't the best, so he's gonna bleed a teeny bit of time here into Brooklyn. Not quite all the curb on the inside. Into Luffield. A little deep. Maybe a good exit for going deep. Three tenths up. Uh, 
That would bring him half a tenth in front of Big Daddy. I think he's got more in him. I think got more. I'm gonna get onto Riccatoni right now. Half a second up, six tenths. Into Brooklyn and Luffy. Oh, Schwepp goes right to third. P3 with a 59, 160. Another driver to watch today, Smith in that Audi. The Audi is stupid quick here. If you can drive it on zero TC. Rigatoni got into P8 and solely P7. Ketchney, he is looking about two tenths up. Harold McDonald just picked up a ton of time. Time, oh, that's two tenths on top of his oh, current yeah, that's, pole. that's two tenths. That's going to come on down to the... And this was the section he really hurt last time. So if he can, if he can get a little cleaner run out, he will have a very good time here. Gained a lot on the apex there. Oh, he ran wide, though. That's going to hurt. And also, why through the loop? Oh. <sighs> Looks like he'll stay solid with that last lap as far as that run's concerned. Sully up five tenths. I finish this lap with uh, Harrow before we hop into Soli. Soli's gaining quite a bit. And uh, Harrow is about oh. to cross the finish line with a tenth and a half advantage. That should put him two tenths in front of Big Daddy. Almost, not quite. Six. And on to Soli. I think he can go a little faster. I think he can go three or four tenths quicker, so. Into Luffield. Tidy, not as wide as Harold preferred. Nice cut on the inside. Eight tenths up. Right. That brings Soli to P2. The throne Big Daddy. Yep, Big Daddy got pushed off to the second row with uh, another eight tenths advantage. And keep an eye on Soli. He's another. He was, he was a tenth and a half up. He lost it, but he was a tenth and a half up. Martin Smith up two and a half tenths or so. And your pitcher to pitcher. Soli looks done. He parked it in the hangar straight yep, and call it back. Done. Oh, Martin Smith spinning out. Ooh, that's going to hurt. That's he not does not nice. have enough time. He does not have enough time to make it back around, I don't believe. That is the last time he just starts his lap, so. That's it. This is where he'll stay. Oh, keep an eye on Harold McDonald. He is up two and a half tenths. Ian Byron is in the back, still haven't put a too great of a time. I was, uh, I've been eyeing that man throughout practice in the week, throughout the weeks. He should have a lot more pace than this, but maybe he got into traffics? Maybe and so. Bad lucks. Ian Byron, he's he's up uh, about a second though, so if he can hold on to that, he might be top 10. Right now, second up. Yeah, they'll put him top 10. Or should put him right around his teammate, I think. Where is Rigatoni? Rigatoni is behind. Uh, just P5. behind. Rigatoni is up as well. Yep. And Ian is 1.1 up. Get him to top 10. Rigatoni, is it enough for another? Nope, not enough for another You're spot. Not enough, enough for another. So where did Ian finish out? He finished 24. What happened to that lap? What happened to his lap? He must have invalidated. Was it invalidated? He invalidated on the last corner. What? Out too wide. Wow. Oh, that would be that... painful if it was. Oh. Rest in peace. Oh, rest. Yeah, that is true. Rest in peace. 
Rest in peace. So I'm gonna wrap up the uh, starting sequence real quick. Harold McDonald P1, P2, Soli, Sullivan. Very well, very well. That was bang a lap. Uh, P3, Big Daddy, Martin Smith. P4, P5, Penzo Rigatoni. P6, Martin Smith. Derek Swab sitting at P7, P8, Quinton Shatner. Justin Mahackney is at P9. Running up P10 is Ansem. Um, we have about two minutes or so for the drivers to get their setup and set their pit strat. Another reminder tonight is tire oh. mandatory. No refueling allowed. It better have all your fuel on board right off the get go, or else you're done deal. Hope to stay out of trouble as always, but it's extra important because you don't want to switch tire early on. Then you're gonna suffer in the later end of the race. It is possible in mid pack. You may favor half seas, pitting around 30 to 40 minutes mark when your tire is gone. Um, I still expect the front probably still go fairly long before pitting. Yeah, the your front runners are going to stay out there fairly long as usual. Don says Byron ran out of fuel. Oh on the no! Last turn. Damn. So that that's that's that that's sucks, dude. That was 1.1 up. Yeah, that that's pretty. That that's got a thing. Just that a does that. What last turn? That is kind of like my Paul Ricard race. Um, so what'll be interesting is is he has the pace. To You're gonna be fight through in it. that top ten, but yeah. you gotta get in there. I, I I gotta be honest. I'm gonna be focused on Ian at the start because it is it's just gonna be. I, I think he's got cars around him that maybe don't have the same. He, he's he's gonna be at a pace advantage, position disadvantage, and uh, I there's gonna be some chaos. Question is, can he actually fight those cars? To gain those position back, or is he gonna dip early, trying to massive undercut? That is a possibility. Yeah, that's a possibility. But you still gotta you gotta baby the tire for the long run because and, it's tire mandatory. And, and honestly, the Aston is not the car that uh, you would think that the tire wear isn't too too bad. But I learned the hard way at Spa that you know it it just it will eat those tires off smooth off the car especially if you think it shouldn't that is rough that is a a, a big deal to manage high if you, you consider dipping um i'm surprised to hear aston is not nice on tire here honestly i thought aston has usually all right with tire not the greatest but all right with tires it, it's it's okay with tires it's, it's okay just, uh it, it's okay it's temperature the you know for like that's a true barn, for instance he's gonna have to really to in order to do him to do an undercut that is he's temperature's really a lot hotter push, he's gonna have to push the pace um he's gonna have to push the pace which means he's gonna have the car out on the ragged edge for much much longer than everybody else is oh that's stressful for him that's true. The tire, the track condition is definitely not in a big favor on the cutting. I remember I, I, I did pull off a long undercut, but the track condition was like perfect setup for that. Nice tire, 20, yeah. 25 degrees Celsius. So you, you, you are very possible to baby the tire. Here is definitely a lot harder at 30 degrees Celsius. Um, a driver is into sector two? Yes, barely. I'm gonna roll the sponsor. A huge thank you to our SRA sponsors and title sponsors for supporting us here at SRA, as well as support from Documize, a modern business solution for product management. Go to Documize.com to learn more today. And support from Retro Saga a North American-based gaming company that provides accessories for your favorite classic systems, including Nintendo, Sega, PlayStation, and much more. And hence your retro gaming experience today at RetroSaga.ca. And a big thank you to our affiliates, Trek Racer, 
Experience redefined gaming with Track Race's high quality sim rigs and accessories. Use code SRATE at checkout to support us. Armamentario, a toolbox for ACC to enhance your chance to win. Enjoy a fully customizable and enhanced HUD to change the way you experience ACC. And to Go Setups, premium esports setups for everyone. Use our affiliate link on our Discord and take your drive to the next level. Alright, for the listener, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Boost our ego, boost our channels. Share it with your mom, with your friends, with your cousin, with your pets. Get your cat to watch it. Also, pet. Check us out. Check GSA us out on our Discord. Work. Yeah, uh, sra.gg, yes? Yeah, check us out. sra.gg, come to our Discord. We do everything. We even deal out some democracy every now and then. So come check us out. Just a chat. Are we going to have chaos in turn one or what? I, I got to know, folks. I got to know. I think they're okay. Actually, what... I think turn ones should be okay. It, the, the straight to turn one is very short, in my opinion, for this. So they will be tidy. But maggot, maggot, and chapel, that's different. Um, but I have faith in, in, in them. D4 has been really good in the later half of this season. Alright, the LD are penetrating in each other. Hop into... Uh, would call so that would be a last turn before they pit straight onto heli cam so it'll be interesting this is gonna be interesting this is gonna be interesting or are they gonna die or are no they gonna make gonna it green light. Give it and green, green we go green. in silverstone um harold got a good start on the inside oh we so are in the back in the back of the pack and you're eating P&P. Looks tidy in the back still. We already strung our teen a bit. In the front. Oh, the back front. still we looks good. Laz. We got Laz off with... Who is that? Is that Laz? Laz? I didn't even see that. I'm trying to get to him. Let's look at what happened there. In the picture, in the picture. In your picture, in your picture to picture. He's going to be alongside. Is that Rawworth? In the front, Big Daddy is going in the back of one of the Audi. Lad That'll be Adam just, Smith. Ooh. Okay, it looked like Rawworth broke a little hard. Laz wasn't really prepared for that. Um, Big Daddy oh, went wide. Oh, your rejoin? Lost, two place, lost a place to the Audi. Though, man, race control's jacked. It's everything's and, yellow. Yeah, race control is jacked. Uh, we're not gonna be able to see when we got a yellow flag, so yep. we'll just have to keep kind of bouncing back and forth as we yep. see cars going everywhere. So Ian Byron already up. Let's see. Five that positions man? from the from the start. Nice. That must have been Ansem that Laz was involved in that incident with. Ansem down 18 positions. That's Holmes going inside of Yaren. Oh, Andrew and the Honda NSX made a humongous move. Almost on, pitting. On, on Byron. We got to go back and watch that. Let's go back 15 seconds to your pitcher to pitcher. He's just going to absolutely. Oh my god, here. that's an ICBM. He just absolutely long sent range that missile. Oh, that was fantastic. He made it work. I don't know if that call it work. I think Ian may have see, saw it coming and just let him. Yeah, I, I think instead so. of oh. risking death, that was a long lunch, really long lunch. That I feel like that would have been a penetration if Ian didn't, if Ian turned in regularly. Computer crash at the end of the formation lap. Oh no, no Jess cursed terrible. the man. No, Pat, that sucks.
So where are, let's see here. Let's just hop aboard with Holmes. We've got 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th here. You can throw a blanket over these folks. And uh, on the big screens, we're gonna Tony chasing down Big Daddy. And also uh, while under threat by uh, Justin Mahackney. Technically, yes. Oh, well, you, you think race control? I was. I tried that. It didn't work. Okay. So let's that see. was my assumption. Less sigh. Yeah, that's maybe. right, Pat. You can blame Jess. Yeah, it's it's Jess's fault. Uh, Alster and Raleigh's in the back. Oh, Foster is the one driver who has a quality ban. Is that correct? That's or right. Tonight? He had a penalty start. A oh, penalty start, not quality ban. Just I see. Straight up right. pit lane Even start. Even if you close out race control and then try to bring it back up, that doesn't work either. So, folks, it is what it is. So we're gonna oh, miss right. some carnage for sure. We're gonna miss some carnage this evening. It is what it is, I guess. Sacom on the back bumper, Felker. Felker's all over the place in that Mercedes. He's looking very unstable this evening. And uh, Justin Hackney uh, definitely eyeing down the back of Rigatoni. That is an excellent exit through uh, Stoll down oh. the outside. Maybe he got the outside for Rigatoni. Oh, that is a track oh, cut. He's gonna have to yield cut. that. Yeah, he'll have yep. to yield that one. I do believe. Yep, he did. He did. Very nice. We have a we have a red, we have a yellow flag somewhere. A real one? Where do you see that? I think on so. the map. I saw it come up on the the pit window. I section. see. Where was it? I don't know. We'll have to keep a eye on the track map as well. Home is next to a uh, Yaren into the loop. Getting a nice tow from the Ferrari. Look down the inside, thought twice. Yarn's oh, wide! He, he Home made got the yarn. inside. Oh, he made yarn I love it. Ooh, that, that packed up the back ooh, good wow, with Falker yep. and Sokom in the back. And then uh, we have Curtis Lee as well. Home found a gap pass. And we have Schwepp and Mahackney. Mahackney, damn, I cannot say his last name. And Big Daddy and Smith. Wow, we might have to rewind that one. Which, yep. Yeah. That looked a little... Oh, one of them went really well on cops. Oh, so Big Daddy went Daddy on the inside maggot. To the inside. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. The Aldi definitely trying to squeeze him a teeny bit. At least not let him have any more space. And now we have a uh, Rigatoni to the back of Big Daddy. I'm catching him back to and he's at P17. He is up. He's up quite a few positions. If it will tell me. Oh, it won't tell me because I closed it and then reconnected it. So oh, I will do he's, that. He's probably up eight. Eight or nine. I'm gonna eight, fight uh, with up Emil. seven. Up seven, okay. We have Ryan to the back oh, of Ooh. There's a McLaren, got a humongous run. And a Nate Andrews going down the inside. He's gonna have it. Ian Byron lost a spot to do Nate. Maybe get a good exit off uh, the loop.
Ian Byron Steph approaching from the hangar straight. Ian Byron pull out in the inside. That is enough overlap. Oh, he's gonna. He, he's gonna. Is there go it into it? Oh, very good. He bang, got it back. That's okay. Go really wide to give space. Uh, I think he went too wide. He could have kept yeah. him pinched there. Oh, Ian Byron decided to undercut. Into so the pit. This is risky, I think. I think this is a risky move. It could play so, out for him. Uh, I'm clicking onto Byron real quick. Uh, pit Delta, if I uh, remember correctly, he told me is 58 seconds. Quick math. Oh, calculator. A lap. Oh, Big Daddy is on the outside one. of Martin Smith. He's going to go for the cutback. He's going to have the room. He's going to have the run. Now he's going to have the outside for this next section, but if he can keep it, if he can keep Martin pinned, he'll have the inside, and he does it. He makes that move super, super clean. Uh, roll that back on the big screen so they can catch that on the big two. Yep, good call. It's such a clean move right oh. here. Makes the cut back. Yep, I think the Audi got some squirrely. He got did. a delayed acceleration. And all he had to do was hold him. Hold him just a bit narrow here, which he does. And that'll give him... That was excellent. All right, Ian Barnes out. And he... Not bad! He has a 45-second gap. He has a 45-second gap in front of him. He is entirely free. He's got the gap, but I think his tires are going to be cooked. Yes. I think, I think they're going to be cooked at you the end. You need to. It's tough. It's a dilemma. You need the pace, but also you need to baby your tire a little bit because it's a longer scene compared to other drivers and their tires out there. So, but that being said, I do also believe that this, you can at least have the pace and you have the option to drive for it. Oh, you baby mm -hmm. it. In the middle, you kind of stuck. Yeah, I mean, you're, you know, realistically. You have less control. I guess, I guess realistically, you know, it's it's all about, um, I think the, the most advantageous undercut here is to, or the most advantageous pitch strategy, especially if you're in traffic right here, is to do the opposite of what the cars in front of you are going to do. So yep. you, you choose you choose a moment in time. So 35 minutes at 35, if no one if they, makes a right hander, I'm making the right hander. Yep. If they go uh, in, I stay out. If they go in, I stay out. So you you, you got to kind of put yourself on offset strategy. But um, he has put himself under this super undercut, and we will see if he can get it done, Sean. We're going to see if he's going to hold up. Huh. Onto a boys and uh Nate Andrew at P17. We have a good train here from see, from P15 through 20. Now I don't know what happened to Smith, but he's fallen off the back of Big Daddy by a little, almost two seconds. So he must have had a moment, or he must be struggling on the tires. I'll hop on board with Rigatoni, um, McKechnie, Rigatoni, and Schwepp, all three here. You throw a blanket over Roll these shot guys. just went into the inside of oh. Boys and Not. They're still side by side. Boys and Not's gonna have look. the inside though. It looks yep. like. And then Benny in the Benny into the hangar straight or Wellington straight. Not quite the exit's not as good. And uh, Curtis Lee's the bag is also approaching Robichaud. Ooh, uh, got a yellow. That would be a uh, Christian Home replaying that on the big screen. This looks like a self delete. Oh, yeah, when is he just gonna cook him? He just he locked the rear tires up. Ooh, good dodge by Sakom. That was a pretty clean donut, though. Yeah. That was a pretty clean donut. Now his rear is going to be hotter than the sun. Yeah. It looks like he outbroke himself, and then um, uh, the rear is finally locked up mid-corner and yep. just spun him around. It's going to be... Like said, that's it's going to take some time for them to cool down, too. Yeah, and... Oh, back to the front. Big Daddy on Mark, um, um, Artem. 
What do we have here, Dar Darren Robichaux? Let's go back to that. I'll catch that in the pitcher to pitcher. Let's go back three Ooh. seconds. Oh wow! Cops? Nope. They they good. They good. In your pitcher to pitcher, we'll see what happens here if we get to see it. Who's behind uh, Robichaux? Oh, oh we just went just wide. Goes off. Oh, oh, that's unsafe oh. rejoin, my dude. Oh, oh no, yeah, right in the middle, goodness. but not much you could do there oh. on the second one. Woo. That's gonna hurt. Moses parting the sea. Uh, Rigatoni and uh, Martin Smith having an exchange oh, here. Three -way I'm gonna replay that real quick. There'll be McCatchney leading Martin Smith and leading Rigatoni. In the back, we have. Ooh, Schwepp. Aldi went wide and Culp's. That and Maggot. Aldi is struggling, and I wonder if the yeah. tires are just falling off it. Yeah, he's weird. He looks really unstable. Oh, Rigatoni got him in the loop. And so is Derek. Yeah, because Derek Smith Schwepp. has fallen from third place all the way down to seventh. So, he's quite a bit. Cashini gained four spot right. We're going to Tony lost one. Oh, and Big Daddy got past Artem. I wonder when he did that. I would like to point out that uh, Ian Byron, he has pit, but he only lost three spot in real time. So I totally can see he he would gain that gain a lot of spot back while in being in free air. So his last lap time was a two oh one three eight two. Um, and where was he at? Around fifteenth, is that right? Sixteenth. Uh, Ian Byron. Yeah. Right now, twenty six. Yeah, yeah, but where did he? he oh, where did start? Fifteenth, sixteenth. Uh, yeah, somewhere there. I don't quite remember. And they were running a. Two one flat, so he may be kind of babying the tires. Yeah, he definitely is babying it some. Hopefully, he is babying it. Um, let's see. Martin Smith taking the fight back to. That says Rigatoni, but it's actually Schwepp. Um, he's taking the fight back to Schwepp. We got some DC going on. We lost three cars. So Pat's gone, yes. Who else gone? I'm looking at the checklist. Oh, event list. Justin Rowley got deleted. Oh, Justin Rowley got deleted. We yes. must have missed that one. Yeah. And John List got deleted. Who? Jo John List? I think he got into oh. uh, uh, lap one, right? Is that yeah, correct? that's right. That seems right. So I don't know if that is a manu delete or no. It that he, he raced some. He raced them after that one. Pits, Vincent and Robichaux. Vincent and Robichaux in the pits. Nope. Martin Smith still chasing down Dirk Swap. Into sector two. Into chapel. Looks like an excellent exit. Oh, He's gonna chase down Schweb for sure. Schweb's gonna just let him go here. I Recognize. Schweb's gonna have. He signaled. Maybe he got stuck, but. He is not. He's not. It He's... wasn't yield. It wasn't yield, definitely. But that was such a good run out of chapel really by Smith. Like He's him through. He wasn't. He's still into Vale. I wonder if he was telling him this is the lane that you can go because this is the yep. lane that I'm going. That's oh, fair. He's gonna have the undercut. Oh, he's gonna have the cut. Oh, oh, oh. switch back, not quite. And Shannon's is the back. Well, Smith parked it beautifully on the apex there. Hopping onto O'Neill, chasing Sakom, fighting for P13 14. One 
back here about shoot. seven minutes, I would think that we would start seeing. If you're if you're gonna pit, it's gonna be within the next seven to twelve minutes. Ooh, long lunch by O'Neill into Sacom. Definitely got the space, but is Sacom gonna be switching back in Brooklyn? A lot few, not quite. Not quite. That put him right to the back of oh right in front of uh Nate Andrew. Falker is entering the pit. Interesting. I guess we're just not seeing the tire wear this evening that we would have thought. Oh, O'Neill's gonna run wide. That's gonna yep, open he's gonna have to lift. But is he gonna lose the position? I don't think he needs to. He, he can hold the inside of maggots and compromise everyone else. He could have succumbed. You can go two by two through there. You can do it. Right, but but I think O'Neill had the option not to just back everyone up. Yeah. Just yeah, make the car wide in the middle. And uh, Curtis Lee sure. is next to uh Nate Andrew. Down hang a straight. Got the place uh, got a space easy in the straight. A little wide on stolt. Oh, we got Foster making a run on we got Jason Yeron making a run on Barnes. And Foster making a run on both of them. Ooh, oh, Foster's slight penetration. Gonna... I'm going to replay that on the main screen. That was a self-spun, looks like. Tap the rear quarter of J uh, uh, Yaron. Oh, not Yaron. Oh. Who got tapped? Who tapped who? The Mercedes got tapped, but... Bar Barnes. Bar it looked like maybe Barnes, Barnes got yeah. tapped. Or, Barnes. or it could have been that Foster overbroke trying to stay off and lock the rear tires yeah. up. It, it could have been that too. Oh, like you think there can be no contact? It, there may have not been. I, I don't know. I see. I'm going to check real quick, see if the car, if the... That was not contact register, I don't think, at least. I'm going to look for you for seven. No, yes, that was not contact register in uh, race no control. Contact register. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, just to make sure. So Felker came out in front of Byron. Um, two seconds ahead of Byron, as a matter of fact. So where did Felker pit from? That's that's the question. That's the million dollar question, isn't it? So Felker was uh, P13 when he pitted. So it is in front of Byron. So that's looking good if if Byron came, oh, oh, right now Falco came out and Byron is right behind him. It's good news for Byron. I think that's good news for Byron because Byron was P17 when he pitted. Uh-huh. Um, if he's only two seconds behind P13, I don't remember what the gap was, but he may, he could maybe make up a couple, three positions, possibly. So Byron's pace last lap was 1.1. Uh, now it's a Before two minute him. flat. He definitely be, the pace is in the top five pace at the moment. So but once safe again, to say how top ten. And the tires hold, hold up. on. Yep. Ian's going on the outside. Oh, then Ian, on back yeah, it's going to go yep. right on by Felker. So, so that's. I mean that that. It's possibly another position. That would be another position, I think. That is. I'm gonna see if I can catch the replay. Oh, too early. And and after Ian made the pass, that's good news again because he got back his free air. Yeah, he got back his free air and he made quite a bit of gap. Yes. Now we're on board with the Curtis Lee. Chasing Sakoma out. Sakoma and White on Cops. Looks like defending slightly on Maggots. Definitely lost some of the gap, but no position loss. And we 
are pretty much losing our battles as we start these, as these pits start to come into play. Ooh, Curtis Lee made an excellent exit on Chapel. Good run on Sukhom. That should be an easy pass if he can come back inside the racing line. Or stole. They're going side by side on stole. Solidify Curtis Lee's position at P12 at the moment. Looks like we got a stricken Mercedes just in front of yeah, him. Who that must is be a blue that? flag. Yeah, that is a Sean John Vincent. You're right. Good yield, good yield. Good for you, sir. Oh, he's mega yield. Up at the front. And your pitcher, pitcher, Harold McDonald, folks. Commentator's man, curse? What a lonely man. 36 minutes left. I mean, what, what could possibly go wrong, right? I mean, we tried cursing the man for two weeks straight, so, and nothing happened yet. Maybe we're not very good he, at this thing. He couldn't spin. There's, you know, he couldn't run out of fuel, couldn't hit a wall, couldn't blow a tire. Oh, Sully's going to come in. Minute 35. That is a little bit earlier than I would... Uh, Imagine I for the guys think up so front. Too. I wonder how the air is going to be when he comes out. Let's see here. He may have some clean air because he should come out in front of um, Gatner. I don't think he was in that close of a fight that would um, cause no. him to lose pace to consider I don't that. I think so either. But it just may be, uh, I'm at halfway, I'm going to do the opposite of whatever. He, he might have decided that 35 minutes was his time to either go in or stay out. And we've got some takers, McKechnie, O'Neal. Oh, 545 got a... R545, that's Yarin. I'm going to replay that. Oh, Yarn. oh. He, he was too late on Cops. the brakes yep. trying to make the trying to make the apex. Oh, 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 oh. That uh, maybe Barnes following him out there. And Shatna. Yo Smith is still eyeing down the back of Penzo Rigatoni. Going down the outside. Oh, so this is our village. Got the inside of the loop. Oh, that is a good shove. Oh, it really is, isn't it? Oh, that's... He got the inside really good, yeah. So Sully came out um, with a two-second two gap on either end of him. Not too bad, but not, not excellent. Too bad. It's not great. It's not yes. great, but it's not terrible. Depends on the pace around you. You can burn that two-second pretty quickly. On to Ansem in the back. Just passing... Uh, O'Neal? Yeah, that Caleb that didn't really put on a has fight. Not been Jason's friend this season. I, I agree. It's, yeah, full it's season. Reggaeton is coming in for the pit. Halfway mark. Didn't want to fight. Um, Martin Smith. So he came in P five. Reggaeton. Let's see where he came out. Smith, 60 second back, 17, 20. Yeah, he would just came in probably just around the leader, uh, McCatchney, not quite leader, but mm -hmm. McCatchney's place. Now, let's see. Where is Ian versus 10, 18? And Andrew yeah, Nate is also going in. Rigaton is coming out of the pit. Uh, maybe you can hop on to uh, McKechnie. Let's find McKechnie. There he is. Oh, McKechnie, just right on and, on there. Yep. Yep, right on by Rigatoni. Yep. So not and bad, because McKechnie oh. was a good bit in front of Rigatoni before uh, they both pit. Looks like Nate Andrews in the pits. And Ian Byron is not too far. Eight seconds behind his teammate. Eight yeah, seconds is, is some, but it's not bad, right? 
and Rick Raul Rigatoni was fighting in, in P4-5. Is he, is he eight seconds behind his teammate? Is that right? Or oh, is he... oh, 10 seconds, my bad. Is it 10 seconds? Ten, around 10 seconds, yes. Yeah, Ian is about 10 seconds behind Rigatoni. Yeah, he is. So that, that I mean, that... He's got a top 10 here, it kind of yeah. looks like. Yeah, so if he his tire hold on, big if, ob obviously, but if it does, that is a good kid on Soli went really deep on Village. Now, the and Soli is kind of in a bad spot here. He Remember, is. he pitted early. He pitted a little early than we would have liked to have seen, and he is caught between two cars that haven't pitted quite yet. He's got to be screaming. Yeah, he and looks like the car around him hasn't pit, and they are not exactly willing to just let him by. No, they're not just letting him by either. They're not in the same race, but they also are not obligated to just yield. That's right. It's your call to pit in the right decision. A bunch of cars comes in. Uh, Derek Schweb, oh, Big wow, Daddy, Harold wow. McDonald, Madison, Mad Curtis Lee, and Martin Smith all in the pit. So the top runners are definitely coming in for half seas. Right at the 30 minutes mark. Um, wait a minute. Did Sully just come out in front of Harold? No way. Where's Harold? No, no, Harold. Oh, Martin, Martin Smith's gonna stop going 30. 30. Oh my That's God, rest in race. pieces. Now that, I think that clinches the, does that clinch gold? I'm looking that up right now. Does that clinch gold? It has to. Oh my God. Oh my God, Sullivan came out in front of Harold by a lot. Sullivan came out in front of Harold? Yeah, you see that? What happened? What happened? Something happened. Something Harold. humongous happened. Harold, stop, it's not that trash. It's only five seconds. I mean, it's a lot, but not that much. Not three position. Oh my. What well, happened? He, he's, he's P2. He's, he's P2, but he is... He is like three or four seconds behind Sully. So I wonder, well, that makes sense. He was two seconds in front of Sully when they pitted. If he had a five second pit longer than Sully, then he, um, then he lost three. It's simple math, right? Oof. Undercut. So far it's working really well. Big question. Are they gonna last? And that is going to put Harold, he is, Harold's in a, he's in a mess. He's got two cars in front of him that have not pitted, and he's bleeding time. These folks, yes. these two are, they're fighting for position. They're not. Well, they're not letting him go. Yeah, Barn and Sims, Thompson, Jeff Thompson, they are definitely fighting. When they're fighting, they're even less willing to let the car go. That's right. Oh, and look, look who's coming up right behind Harold. Big Daddy is creeping up on him. Oh, oh Harold! Yeah, is. Harold's definitely eyeing left and right for a spot oh, to go. No. That ain't gonna oh, happen. Big, Big Daddy's gonna sh <laughs> gonna take advantage of this cluster is, of mass. And this, this is this is huge, folks. It is <laughs> because, drama. Oh no! Look how much time he's lost to Sully. He's lost, he's lost over three seconds to Sully. Oh no, we got another stop go 30. That is Ryan Boysenot. Oof. Um, who just yield? That is Jeff Thompson. Thompson finally yield. He does, didn't have to, but he was he decided to be nice to the front runner. Oh so Ian, no! Oh, Barn no. got deleted. Replaying that. Here? That is Harold behind, Harold and move. then a big daddy behind. Is it oh, self delete oh, this or is penetration? A, this is, no, this is a, that's this penetration. Is a, oh, that's no. classic cops. Oh no! Harold McDonald. So big daddy definitely uh, is, is salivating in his mouth, looking for the penalty. 
So the top folks in the championship. Oh are my God! Races at the end of this thing. <laughs> oh they my. get midway and they like fumble the football. Netflix can't write better F1 story than this. Evan, uh, Rigatoni just got past uh, Foster. It looks like I'm gonna see if I can replay that. I think I'm maybe a teeny bit late on the replay. Big Daddy got past Harold. Let's see if we can catch that. Let's go back 30. Oh, no, we're not catching. Oh, with the new tires and lighter fuel, uh, a bunch of front runners who had pitted came out as running sub two at the moment. Um, Ian Byron still running two minutes, so I believe he's either tire worn down. He just cannot use the pace. So the he gap between that team is increasing a little bit. He is P12. He has, he's got a couple cars ahead that still have to pit that he'll pass. Looks like three cars at least. Yeah. Martin Smith still has a stop go 30. He has not come in for, so he may have a P10 here. Yeah, because Foster, then Sacomb, then Martin. So he may actually yep. be P9 it's when this P9. is. Yep. He'll shift into P9. So, um, golly, what a turn of events here. Whoa, that drama got my heart going. And, uh, Yaren, is this just a tenth behind Ansem? Oh, I hopped on board with Harold in your pitcher to pitcher caught him having a slidey moment he must be f I, I think the frustration has set in for him he was sliding a teeny bit at cops when he uh contacted with uh barnes as well sam barn so I, I i think the rear is uh a little unstable but he just pit right well, he did he uh, just pit uh, uh, yeah but you, you cannot forget a very important thing about pitting and that is to use the pressures that i to use the correct pressures. I wonder if he missed the oh, pressures on the no. pit stop. That's all I can figure for his so pace to drop off like this. Full second steam just rag tired. Yeah. Just, oh, that. Yeah, yeah, I that wonder if he's sucks. too low. I wonder if he's either too low or too high on his pressures. Because you can see it, it. It looks very unstable. Yeah. Martin Smith's going to go in and serve that penalty now. Five seconds to Alcon. It's 59-1, 59-3. Um, Big Daddy's got about two and a half tenths quicker. Is does Sully have the pace to hang on to this thing for the next 23 minutes? Is the question. Oh, that's a good run. Shatner on Foster and your pitcher to pitcher. Madison is like inside of Nate, Nate. Not quite. But Curtis Lee is definitely going inside of Sacoma and got that. Shatner absolutely stent it. Let me see if I can replay that. On Foster. He's just going to absolutely send it here. Ooh, yeah. Also, I think uh, Foster may have been, uh, he may have lift for uh, track limit. So we not guess back. We got some insider information here. 214 radio says the tires still feel good. So. Oh yeah, that's good Byron's. news. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Looking at P10 at least. I've been good to them. Hopefully they <laughs> They'll are be good, good to, to me. me. <laughs> yeah. Long. It is hard though. Like when you have fresh tire. Like when if he's pit early, it takes a lot of discipline to not use them. Yeah, it really does, isn't it? When it feels nice. And he hasn't had to do much passing on track. Yep. He That's the other key. Fairly steady state. This. That would be a quite a comeback start for Ian Byron. Ian Byron right now is P10 already. Um, 
no one in front of him will need to pit, correct? So from now on, it's on track action for Ian Byron. He has some gap to uh, Dark Schwab in front, that is a three second gap, so he has some um, time. Uh, let's see how see the pace down. The pace down is pretty close from here now on, so from Ian Byron. Actually, the drivers around Ian Byron is quite similar, so we'll see how that gap changes. Um, and I think this is best case scenario for that. Team, I honestly. absolutely think so. I yeah. Mean, you you start P25. Um, you make it all the way to ninth. Yep. Through mega undercut. Um, it is it is just salvage the tires, keep them happy, keep the pace, just keep it consistent. Ooh, 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 ooh that ooh. was deep. Uh, that was Madison who overshot. We're playing that on the main screen. Uh, in front of Madison is the uh, and troop behind it is uh, Curtis Lee. And then Ian oh, Byron just... got a humongous Ooh, he run just... through the fast section. He's going to send it door bang on Jason. Ooh. With you on the main screen. On the wing. Oh, down the inside. Should be not as good an exit. Not quite, not quite. Oh, oh down the inside just... again. Oh, oh no. Curtis Lee. Oh, no. That's gonna get yeah, that hurts. Gonna run right into the front of him. Replay that oh. on the main screen. <sighs> that was a quite a good exchange until it turned sour. And Matassi is gonna have a run on Jason. I, was the overlap there? Was I don't know. I, I hard to tell. Hard to tell. I can't quite blame Yarn just yet. Rob says. There's a breaking zone back there. <laughs> uh, Martin Smith, the one of the driver who got stop goal 30, draw back to P21. Right in the back of uh, Jeff Thompson. I believe Jeff Thompson was his pace. Actually, not that bad. Um, oh, back up to the front. Big Daddy has closed the gap to three and a half seconds on Sully. I thought there was a one second gap earlier. No, there was a five second gap earlier. Five second? Oh, wow, okay. So, Sully is going to have to pick the pace up if he wants to hang on to this thing. Now, uh, me and Rob, we got a funny relationship. I'm just going to throw this out there. We write books together. Um, <laughs> he was once crazy. He was a man in a room full of rubbers with countless amount, amounts of mice. Yarn past Madison looks like. This is Vale, maybe? Yep, stole. And Vale. Yeah, Matsy just runs wide. He's gonna Did he miss the breaking Jason. again? No, he did not. No, Yarn he... just really precisely put it in. And three oh, wide in that thing. Three wide. <laughs> oh my god, that attempt. Old Alsacom's gonna go past Yarn. Went wide in uh, Maggots. Not Maggots, that was a farm. Oh. Oh, Christian. I was just saying. Yeah, Christian got it inside. Back onto Schwab and Shatna. Shatna went wide, defending Maggot. Schwab got to back out. Yeah, but he may have a better run. When wide and back it's again. Narrow. But oh, he back up, I'm definitely sorry. back up. Yep. Gonna have a, he should have a good run here on this porch. He didn't. The porch backed him up too good. Uh, he could have. That's gotta be frustrating. Is he gonna it sit must have been. Zone? That was such a better run than the Shatna. Oh, Sam Woodworth got a DT. Oh, no. Track limits at Spa. That's gonna hurt. That sucks. That would put him potentially that yeah, last, to be honest. P18. We lost another car, apparently. Let me look. Ryan, boys or not. I think he got a stop go 30, right? Yes, he got he a stop did. go 30, he so he disconnected. 
board. You're picture to picture with Jeremy looking at Holmes, Sacom, and Matassi. Matassi. Matassi went wide. really wide. Is it Matassi or Matassi? I say Matassi. Matassi, Matassi. Who knows? Oh, Jeremy's gone. And home wide That's a little bit too. Smith just passed uh, uh, Jeff Thompson. I'm going to replay that. This is a hanger straight, looks like. Into Stoll. Around the outside, Porsche went a little wiggly. Spava Stone, that's right. Spa. Uh, I don't want to think about Spa. That hurts my feelings to think about Spa. Let's not talk about that anymore. Looks like Schwab's main advantage in this Maggot Baggot Chapel complex, sadly, is quite hard to overtake. Yep, Shannon went wide and Baggot as well. Looking for offset. Derek definitely have a better offset this time. Bad exit on Chapel. Maybe he can make it up on the hangar straight. Can he? Can he approach? No, not quite, not quite. Ian Byron's definitely uh, eyeing down those two cars. Those two cars, uh, Ian Byron is chasing Dirk Schweb, who is chasing Shetna, while Shetna and Schweb are fighting. The pace dropped quite significantly. They're ru running 202 to one while most people are running two flat or sub two. And uh, Ian Byron's running uh, two flat at the moment. No, Sam Ruworth got to stop go 30 for serving the DT. Got double spanked. Oof. I think he's gonna quit. Man got sent to Jesus. Oh, in the pit lane. Look like look like Schwepp was gonna go for uh maybe a move that wasn't quite on there. I wonder if Shatner is trying to back him up to Ian. He could be. That's quite a gap to back someone up. Doable, but quite a gap. Because it potentially bring yourself to Ian as well. High risk, high reward. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, track limit straight to jail. Serve the track limit violation straight to jail also. It's not funny. It is. It's, it's is funny. It's it's not funny, but it's it's not funny when you're the one who's in jail. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. You get so angry when you're the one in jail. Right. <laughs> and a half, believe it or not, straight to jail. And a half, you just don't get points, I guess. It makes them crazy. I would be screaming. Rob, weren't you crazy once? Oh! A uh, Schwab dropped back a teeny bit. I wonder if there's some wiggly ha stuff happened to Schwab. It must have been just before that. Yeah. Now, if if you're if you're keeping up, ladies and gentlemen, Ian Byron is caught up to Schwab. Biggest winner. He is caught up. 14 places at the moment. What a climb. Bad start, that's for sure. Bad quality, but from what just he imagine was. Imagine if he would have qualified. Good. Yeah. Where does he finish if he qualifies P9? Uh, on, on to home. Chasing Manacy. catching solely with a vengeance here at the front now they're within two seconds up front they're within two seconds big daddy can clearly see him out the hood of the car out the windshield of that car he's smelling blood in the water 
It's one thing to catch him, it's another thing to pass him, though. Yep. Now, if Big Daddy wins three races, is this would this be his third race this season that he'd win? That's correct. So if Big Daddy wins three as a silver driver... Straight to D2. What does that mean? He made coaches picked a lot easier, I would believe. <laughs> Maybe coaches are pulling the string in the back. He could be. Schwepp after some unknown uh, event to drop him back a second and a half. Now he claw it back to have a second to the back of Shanna. Fights again, round two. Oh, back onto home. Home just got past Madison at Stoll, I believe. I'm gonna replay that. Sounds like hang a strike happened. Oh yes, that's a nice toe. Enough overlap. Got a better side of braking on the metal of the track instead of outside on the bump. No. Oh, Madis, he went wide again. Maybe he has to... Is he not lifting? He's not lifting. Maybe he's just tanking his track limit here. That was some notch. I'm trying to replay that. That may be oh, a slight bump. A that is a bum rub there. No one died though, except himself. Went a little he wide. Just looks like. wanted to caress it. Oh yeah, he just. Oh yeah. Yeah, he just wanted to caress that butt a little bit. That's all that was. Just a little caressing. Big Daddy's within a second of solely. He's within a second. We are riding on board. I'm gonna hop back word to the Schwab again and Shetna. Ian Byron behind like... Schwab's doing excellent pace. Two minute flat, just up to 201. Big Daddy's doing some changing on the fly. The steering wheel we can see there, folks. He's pressing what the fast what go fast button. See a DRS on that car? What's the deal? He might be changing some TC settings. He might be running TC zero through the fast sections. He's right on the back bumper. Let's, let's dive into TV cam one. Hop on board with you. Nine minutes left to go. Five lap maybe? Yeah, five laps. Very tidy from both drivers. Solely went a little deep for defense, getting the inside of Luffy. Oh, Big Daddy's gonna have a run. He's gonna have a very good run. With that Bentley motor. Let's see if he can hold on to it. Cops don't want to risk, which is fair. Oh, Soli oh, went Soli wider wide. than Jupiter. He wide. He, he, he probably just stuck the throttle. Just give me the track. Yeah, Let maybe he have some speed coupon left to spend. That yeah. one, he definitely spent that one. He didn't lift. Yeah, yeah, he spent the coupon there. That's for sure. I think he's going to need to spend a couple more to stay in front here. Daddy, Daddy a little white. Right up to the back bumper of him. It was a little bit deep. I am kind of surprised that he used that hole right there on the left hand side before entering that curve. I think that would have kind of upset the car, but. But Bentley takes curb pretty well, though, so... It, it does, but there's a pothole right there before that curb starts. Um, the cars really don't like that pothole. Oh, oh 
Brooklyn. He just, pulls, he, he just he outbreaks him. Every, under breaking, he is just killing him. Looking for deep Big offset. Guy, he, will, he will he will dime in the corner off. That's going to give him a good run. He'll have the toe. On to the outside. Is he going to go down? And the, the inside and cops? Not quite. That is too far back for cops. So he went wide again. Oh, yeah, that he's gonna get spanked soon if he doesn't yield. He is. He is. He's taking. He's taking the track cuts. At this <laughs> he's point. tanking it. <laughs> he's just like I am. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I cannot. <laughs> uh, Sakum just made past Ansem. Um, I'm gonna see if I can catch that. Yes, I should be able to. We'll stay with the leaders in your picture to picture. Right at village, into the loop, down the inside loop, I assume. Not quite. Oh, it is! And some went white expecting a dive that just opened up for Sakom. Very clean. <laughs> that is so tight. Uh, we're back to uh, Abby's. Yes, Abby's. Mm, too far. Tight yet, yo. Oh wow! Holy, wow, yep. Just closes. So. I think Soli really want the inside. At least don't want Daddy to think about the inside. Yeah, Soli's gonna have to. He's. Big Daddy's gonna have a run on him here. He's gonna have to make a decision. He's gonna stay on the outside. Why no defense? Oh yeah, that oh. was wide open. Maybe a switch back in Luffy? Oh, not no, quite. Not no, quite. Because he, no. he went. He he got too much out of the groove. Yeah. Um, oversteered out of the corner. Corner. That yep. is gonna hurt. But that bring. Harold, pretty a close. He's telling me in the chat that race control should tell you how many track cuts drivers has. Really? Well, where do you see that? Where do you see that at? Help us out. We're just idiots up here. Broadcasting controls. Grid pit count. Time stop stint. Is something we gotta turn on? Yeah. Can we should I put a virtual safety car out there? <laughs> Let's see here. Settings. Yeah. Let's see in there. Oh, I oh. think it should, but it doesn't. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, because I don't think uh, they broadcast it. The game doesn't broadcast it in the UDP period. What'd you call me? <laughs> yeah, Lane's just, uh, Big Daddy just ran away. Now's a second and a half. Yeah, he's just kind of... Straight to D2. Now the, uh, oh, Harold's a humongous run on Sully. Oh, he's gonna have a cut back here. But Sully got the inside. Oh, that doesn't matter. Harold's gonna have it. Uh, he's gonna have the better run. Oh, unless Sully... Oh wow! Goal. Good stuff, Harold. That was that was fantastic. That was good. I'm gonna watch that again. I wanna see that again. Oh, I didn't really play far. Every op Sully had every intention of holding him out all yeah. the apex of that corner. He was not gonna let him turn in. Huh. I'm on to a. Oh, that's it. Ian is a second and a half away yeah. from a Derek Schwab. Whoa. Those two are fight. Those Schwab and Sh Sh uh, Shetna fight. The entire time. They've been I definitely brought uh, Ian back. Even 
quite a comeback. Quite a comeback story. Yeah, quite a cut comeback for Ian. I am um, I am surprised the lap times haven't really fallen off. That's right. That's right. So I am paying attention to this, and I'm kind of thinking to myself, you're in the Aston Martin tomorrow. You're looking for a different strategy. Maybe it's this is the strategy. Definitely possible. Yep. Tomorrow. Ian Maybe started this... his stint at 201 low. Mm -hmm. Still doing 201. Oh, that's no defense against 54. See, I can't help it, but I'm just I'm tired. It's because you're not here, bud. Oh, in when wide. Now, um, another thing to consider here, he may catch the back of these two, but can he do anything with them, with the worn tires as well as the aero push, he's most certainly going to get from these two. I would say fighting two car if they're actually fighting. It's easier than or oh, oh, three yeah, cars position change is easier than two car fighting for a position change. Leaders it's just massive. Lap. You can't defend. Big Daddy is out front with a three and a half second gap. Three and a half seconds. D four silver. Are we sure. Are we sure. sure. Cool story, sure? bro. Well, what's interesting is. Are you listening? Coach's picks are looking like they're pretty good again because Big Daddy looks like he'll have the win for silver, silver. Uh -huh. and Harold will have the win for gold. Now the silver driver might finish first. Oh wow, looks like Schweb tried to pass Shatner. That may open the door for Byron. This is white flag. <laughs> Uh, slap, folks. I wonder if Ian's gonna go for it. Or oh, he's happy where he is. Into Stoke. Schwab's on the outside. Trying to cut back. Not quite. That brought him give to Ian. Ian. Yup. Oh, Ian's going go on the outside. Here. Oh, if Ian can tuck him in. Oh, Not quite. A little deep for Ian. He needed to hold him there for that move to work. Uh, one six one got yellow. One six one. Foster P twenty one currently. Can you replay that? Yeah, we can play that. Where the hell is he at? Twenty first at the moment. Maybe half a minute. The leader has finished the that looks right. Oh, he's oh. gonna step off and. Ooh. Well, Big Daddy is crossing. Your buyer, your internet just died. Yes. Your buyer, your internet just died. Yes. Well, I see the stream spinning, but it's back up. We're, we might be back up, folks. Um, your top 10 Big Daddy, Harold McDonald, Jack J uh, Sully, Artem, Etchney, Riccatoni, Shatner, Schwepp, Byron, Felker. That was a horrible time to drop frame. Uh, well, it's okay. Let's see here. So where are we at? Where are we at on the championship? Q? What's it looking like? I think we're done. So, Harold, for sure. Got gold, Big Daddy for sure got silver. And the uh, Audi's boy, America United Racing, pretty sure got the um, team as well. Yep, and my game just crashed. Perfect timing, no big deal. <laughs> just give me a second, my computer is looking like it's gonna set on, sets off on fire. <laughs> it's fine, it'll be fine. I'm sure they can all hear us. All right. Um, so um, we got to pull in Big Daddy. Yes. Uh, where's he at? Oh yeah. Let's let's grab him. Let's uh, 
let's move him to us. Uh, Big Daddy. But we gotta talk. You're muted, by the way, sir. Hello? Hello? You're trying to stay under the radar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Howdy, howdy. Sorry for the late, y'all. What? Oh, deform my ass. I mean, that's what I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, D4 Silver for sure is, you know, maybe not the perfect placement, but, um, you yeah, know, I think overall in terms of pace, D4 is uh, about right. I think the Bentley got popped a little bit strong. Uh, I think minus 40 kg, which definitely helps out. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you. So at the start there, um, lost a couple positions immediately. It took you a little while to get them back. And then somehow you end up in a fight with Sully behind some messed up pit stop or something from Harold. Talk us through that. Yeah, so I think Sully, I don't know if it was his strategy because he pitted, what, three, four, five laps before me? Um, yeah, that's right. And so he came out. Or I came out, and by the time I saw him, I was six seconds adrift. So I don't know what happened there, but uh, it looks like I did make up about two seconds or so on uh, on McDonald in the pits. So I don't know if maybe he had picked up some sort of damage from a little contact or just didn't hit his box correctly or something. So made up a couple seconds there, I think, because I went from, I want to say, like, 3-4, three, 3-3, four, three, 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 two, to uh, just over a second, which was hugely beneficial for the race. Well, you were absolutely killing it there at the end. Um, congrats <laughs> on another win. I think that's number three this season. Uh, are you uh, you the silver champion? Uh, I think so. I had, think I had a 76-point lead for silver coming in and uh, obviously extended that a bit. So, Well, congrats on the win. Congrats on the championship. Uh, well, thanks, man. We'll see you in D2 next season. Oh, no, yeah, we'll see you in D2, <laughs> but we'll see you in D2. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, right. super happy with how this whole season's gone. Uh, definitely have had more success than in seasons past. Uh, and just want to thank SRA for putting on this show. Thank you guys for uh, coming out, running the stream. It's awesome to go back and be able to watch that in retrospect. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. We're gonna sh let's skip him back off. Who 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 is next? Who do we need to talk to next? Do we need to pull Harold in? Because Harold didn't yes. didn't Harold win the yeah uh, he did uh, get that man in here. Hello, Harold. Hello. You are Wait. the uh, gold winner or overall winner also. Thank you of the season. Yeah. I'm I'm shocked. I uh, well like yeah, I'm very very surprised that you know, like at the beginning of the season I could not have imagined that I'd be fighting for the D4 championship. So this is pretty cool. I mean, you're look I, I said it about uh, Big Daddy and I'm going to say it about you uh D4 my ass. Yeah, <laughs> I I unfortunately agree with you, but I think having skipped a season and been in, being in D5 previously, uh, D4 probably felt like the right place for me when I came back for the admins, but I'm excited for D3 next season. Yeah, well, we'll see you there. Uh, I'm excited to race with you next, next season. So um, congrats on a championship win. Uh, you were so close. I need to know what happened there. To the second the sedan. Pits. What happened to the pits? Okay, the so um, uh, instead of hitting my pit limiter button, I turned off the engine. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that, that's, what, that's what killed my, my race and being able to go for the actual race win. So, like, as soon as that happened, I was like, oh, no, I can't. I can't turn it on unless I stop the car. Stop the so car, I yep. This, I had to stop the car in the pits because I was all the way down right by the pit exit. I see. Instead of being close no to the way, No possibility you're going to coast through that. Yeah, I, I would have lost more time than if I stopped.
stopped and restarted the engine and and proceeded at 50 k kph well that that makes a lot of sense so uh yeah i honestly we thought big daddy was gonna pit me coming out of the pits but i just barely got ahead of him um so maybe he had damage that he fixed i don't know yeah well uh Wow. Okay. Well, that that's interesting. We were wondering because we saw Sully just all of a sudden had a six second lead. And we we're like, "How did that happen? What what did we miss?" Yeah, I and and I think as much time I lost would have been enough to either come out next to him or just behind him or in front of him. It would have been really close if I didn't make that mistake. Yeah. Well, good season, nevertheless. I also um, got a question. How did the car feel soon after you exit the pit on your second stint? It looks a little squirrely to us. Um, I was pushing like a madman for the <laughs> That's whole fair. stint because That's I was fair. trying to. I wanted to win the race, and I was trying to catch up with. I was I was trying to keep up with Big Daddy so we could catch Sullivan, and then Sullivan just had to. I think I just overcooked the tires doing that. Um. And so that's that's why Big Daddy was able to get that four second gap at the end of the race. That's fair. Yeah. Well, that's fair. So, well, um, still congrats for the overall win. Yeah. Win to win. You. you don't yes. need to win every ways to have that. Yeah, I a win is a win. I did the math. I had a time of where I needed to finish to, even if Matt Artem won, to no matter what, win the championship. So. Happy with it. Yeah, and he got a he got a stop go thirty. So I think that's Smith, was... his teammate. Yeah, that was, was that was his teammate Smith. Oh, okay, okay, was, yeah, okay. But still, so. Artem got in some traffic in in Oof. some fights here and there. So, yeah, it wasn't... I'm excited to look back at the overtake I had on Sullivan. That was good. He did not it make good. it easy for you. Like he had a pretty good defense in the late race with it you was, and a big yeah. daddy. So yeah, it was I was very clear that he was not going to let you turn into that next apex. If you didn't have him cleared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I, I knew that. So I was like, I have to leave him space because he's not backing out. There's no chance. That was really, it was really fun. I can't wait to go. He actually just messaged me too. I can't wait to go back and watch it. That was good stuff. Um, Wait, I got a message too. Sorry. Well, well, right. well yeah. congrats. And um, we will send you back to the D4 chat. Sounds good. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate all the commentary. And I look forward to racing you on the, on the track, Reader. Shoey, yeah, don't absolutely. forget about that. Yeah, Shoey. We need to see the Shoey. That shoe better be I've, nasty. I've, <laughs> I've, I've, got, I've got something in mind that I think, uh, I think everybody's going to really enjoy. So, you should do it from a sock. <laughs> nothing like that but uh, it'll be, uh i'm i'm hoping it's something people haven't seen before it'll be fun all right nice. good deal looking forward for it cool thanks guys congratulations see ya all right, all right what well. else there that would like to talk to i think that is all yeah that's it that's it that's the Aldi's are not here, never here. So, what a season ending race. It really it can be better. It, it couldn't have been. I'm better. so happy uh, that I got to uh, witness this live, too. Yeah, I am, too. That was a fantastic race. Um, the D4 boys really, really pulled out a good stop. Uh, everything was really clean. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for joining us this entire season. If you've been here every race, we appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot to the sorry community and uh, me and Cube in particular uh, to be able to be your commentators. Um, if you're not with us in SSRA Racing, you should definitely come check us out and talk to some folks. We are all very uh, friendly to regardless of skill level. If you're new to sim racing, join us. I join here knowing nothing. Um, if you're alien looking for a challenge, we got alien to match up with you as well. So. Check us out, sra.gg. Look up our Discord. Um, hope to see you on track. If you don't want something, anything too serious for commitment for a league, 
We also have exhibition race, we have endurance event, we have multi-class racing, we have iRacing. Uh, Jeremy said earlier, we spread democracy as well, so check us out at sra.gg. I um, hope to see you in next season. Bye.